Good morning, friends. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I'm so grateful you're joining us here today. I'm Christina Pocklington from the Great Start Parent Coalition and Riley is currently running upstairs, so I don't know when he'll be back, but he will probably join us soon, I hope. He, he went on a mission and that happens sometimes, but I trust that he's being safe and he's with his dad, so we're okay. So let's read our first book after we sing our welcome song. So first our welcome song, then our book. So here's our welcome song. We use sign language too. It's hello, friends. Hello, friends. How are you? How are you? Are you feeling happy or are you feeling grumpy? How are you? Riley is normally a grumpy dinosaur. I'm feeling really happy today and we'll find out how you're feeling after our song. Hello friends, hello friends, how are you, how are you? Are you feeling happy or are you feeling grumpy? How are you, how are you? How are you feeling today? Oh, thank you for sharing that with me. It's okay to be whatever you're feeling. If you're sad, that's okay. Sometimes things happen to make us sad. If you're happy, I'm happy you're happy. If you're grumpy, maybe we can take some deep breaths together. <gasps> and that can help you feel a little bit less grumpy, but it's okay to feel grumpy too. Our book today is all about be you. So be whatever emotions you are right now in that moment. Be all of who you are. And I am loving this author right now, Peter H. Reynolds. We are reading a lot of books by him and I am, makes my heart happy to read these books with you. So this is called Be You. You were born to be so many things. Now, if you can read, read some of these words with me. Peaceful, clever, connected, yourself, generous, polite, kind, empathetic, open-minded, colorful, or moody, or funny, or effervescent, or patient, or optimistic, or inventive. Oh, those are such fun words. My wish for you, no matter where your journey leads, is for you to always be you. B-E-Y-O-U. Be you. <gasps> be ready <gasps> to take that next step towards being an amazing human being. <gasps> be curious. Turn every stone, ask every why, and keep digging deeply. Discover your own answers. Be adventurous. Live a big life. When you are ready, step outside your comfort zone. That's where growth happens. Bravely explore new paths and see where they lead you. You could go anywhere. Be connected. Find kindred spirits. Be with those who make you feel like the real you. Be persistent. Keep going, never stop. Keep going, never stop. Keep going, never stop. Keep going, never stop. <gasps> Keep going, never stop. Be different. Be silly, be quirky, be odd, be unique, be weird. Be really, really weird. Be really, really, really weird. Be colorful. Be okay with being different. Be just the way you are. Be kind, be understanding. Help those around you to be themselves. Listen. Then listen some more. Learn more about who they are. A good way to learn about people is asking questions like, what's your favorite color? 
<gasps> What's your favorite food? What do you like to do when it's raining? <gasps> Who is your favorite person? Oh, <gasps> Riley, that was very kind of you. Riley just brought me a shake. Can you come give me a hug and say thank you? So I can say thank you? Oh, <gasps> thank you, Riley. That was very kind. That was a perfect timing. I did not plan that, I promise. I'm going to go upstairs and I'll go back up. Okay, you're gonna go back upstairs and be with Dada? Yeah. Sounds good. So Riley just did something very kind for me. He wasn't sure if I was thirsty, so he brought me a little protein shake. Be brave. Try new things, take a deep breath, and plunge forward into new experiences. It gets easier every time you try. Be your own thinker. Think for yourself and set your own unique course. It isn't always easy, but you'll be heading in the direction of you. So look, at these friends are almost all the same. They're heading the same direction. They're wearing the same shoes and pants and shirts and hats. They look a little different. Their hair is different. Their skin tone is a little different, but they're all wearing the same clothes and they're all walking in the same direction. And she's going a different way and that's okay. Be okay being alone. <gasps> take time to be on your own. When you're on your own, you can take some really deep breaths <gasps> and find some nice calm. He looks very calm and peaceful and happy. Hear your own thoughts, your inner voice. Listen to your heart. Is it going fast or slow? Bum, bum. Be patient. Being more you takes time. Take a deep breath. Relax, you've got time. Let your future unfold at its own pace. It will be worth the wait. Be okay reaching out for help. When you need a helping hand, a compassionate ear, an encouraging word, reach out. As you voyage out into the world, no matter what, you will always be loved. You will always find love in your life. You are ready. So go ahead, be you. Be very, very you. <gasps> that book left me with a really happy feeling. It made me feel good about things. And today is all about love and play. So today I'm gonna see what Riley wants to play and I'm just gonna copy him. I'm gonna do what he does or we'll take turns. So I'm just gonna follow his lead. So instead of me giving him ideas to play with like here's some blocks, or here's some paint and let's paint together. I'll just go see where he's playing and I'll go play with him. And I'll do what he does. And maybe we can, I can add some suggestions to what he's doing, but I'm gonna let him lead and let him be himself and really focus on child-directed play instead of parent-guided play. Riley, what are you playing? Worker. You're a worker? What kind of worker? Uh, hmm. Are you a construction worker? No. Are you building something? No. Um, like, grandma's workers. Oh, so the people building grandma's deck? Yeah. Those are construction workers. They're building things. Uh, they are building a deck. Construction workers build deck. <gasps> Can I be a construction worker too? Sure. <gasps> Can I make a hole over here? Can I make some holes? No, and then... I'm making this. You're putting on your apron so you don't get messy? No, I'm um, working on the the road. You're working on a road. <gasps> Could yeah. I drill the holes for the sign then on this post? Can I do that? Sure. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll put the sign way up there too. But I'm gonna drill all the holes. One picture, picture. What? Did I miss one? Okay, I'll drill right here. Can you move your finger so you're safe? Did I miss anything else? Oh, okay. Move your finger. Where else? <gasps> oh, you see a hole where a woodpecker packed a hole? Instead of me making the hole, a woodpecker made the hole? That's a woodpecker. Wait, this is a woodpecker? Tweet, 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 <gasps> Ow! Are you okay? The woodpecker got you. Oh, you got me! You got me! You can get it. What are you doing with the bean bags, Riley? You're throwing them? Oh, you threw it. Hey, Riley, could that bean bag be a hat? No. No, can mama wear it as a hat? Oh. Can I see it? Oh, you want Dada to throw you one? Oh, look at Dada wear it as a hat. Dada's wearing it as a hat. You shook off my hat. It's not a hat. What else could it be? Oh, good throw. You push that hard. It's a bean bag. It's a bean bag. But look, look. Go, Dada. Ooh, I think I could use the bean bag as a snack. Can I eat it? No, I shook it. You're gonna, th you're gonna what it? You think we could use? You're it gonna chuck it to weigh something down so it doesn't fly away, so it doesn't blow away. That's another way you can use a bean bag. Oh, <gasps> you threw it up! <gasps> Whoa! Oh, another good throw. Hey, Riley, could you use it as a trampoline? Or you could step on them and do a dance move? <gasps> oh, nope, not that. Look, I'm going to touch the red one with my foot. And then the blue one with my foot. I'm going to make a pattern. Red, blue. Riley, we could make an obstacle course. Oh, <gasps> we could. Okay, so if it's a red and white one, are you paying attention? Yeah. The red and white one I have to step on with my right foot. If it's a blue and white one I have to step on my left foot. <gasps> That's another thing you could do with bean bags. There I go. <gasps> right, left, left, right, left. <gasps> Look, Dad, I used the bean bags as an obstacle course. Right, left, right, left. Yeah. This is a good way to practice our right and our left. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Oh, did you make a pattern? Blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue, red. We need another red. I wonder if Dada can find it. Oh, red. Oh, look, you're walking over the bean bags. You need some more? You could turn around and go the other way toward Dada. Ooh, there's a position word. You can go towards Dada and away from Mama. Oh, <gasps> can you walk between the bean bags? Maybe Dada can walk between the bean bags. Oh, I'm gonna stay to the right now, and then I'm gonna go between <gasps> them to go to the left, and then to the right, and then between to go to the left. Oh, Riley, you threw your my shoes to me. What else can you hop every time you see a bean bag with the stars? What could you do next, Riley? Yo, oh, you're stepping on them. Can you jump from the one you're on to the next one? <gasps> jump. See if you can jump with both feet. Oh, you're stepping. You're stepping. See if you can try to jump. Can you turn around and jump? Jump. 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 You did it. Can you try it again?